Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, as you can see, I am outside of the war wagon. We are traveling. We are going to have a great time, but that is not going to stop me from bringing you this breaking news. This is incredibly important. Please send this one out. Watch this whole video so you know what's going on. Do you guys recall all of the hubbub, that all the stuff that we cover on this channel about new merchant codes for credit card companies aligning to gun purchases and ammo purchases? We covered it at length. Everything is linked down, the, down below if you want to find out more. But this right here is a development that I need to walk you through because politicians are now building upon this outside of these banks. This is massive. Now, as I get into this, please make sure you are subscribed. If you are a new viewer, we are always looking to earn that subscription, and we'd love to have you in the fold. And thank you so much in advance for your consideration because we need to get this kind of stuff out. All right, with that out of the way, check out what's happening. This is massive. Gillibrand calls upon feds to implement advisory for financial institutions to report suspicious gun purchases. Well, Braden, that sounds like run-of-the-mill gun control, except when I walk you through what's about to happen. Do you remember the bank that was involved in the MCC codes or the new credit card purchasing codes, Amalgamated Bank? Well, now the CEO of Amalgamated Bank is partnering with politicians and asking the DOJ and the Treasury to get involved in your gun and ammo purchases utilizing these codes that the International Standards Organization just approved. This is massive and a perfect case in point of if you give a mouse a cookie, they're going to want a gallon of milk because this is not a good look. All right, let's keep going. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand urged the Federal Justice and Treasury Departments on Sunday to swiftly implement newly approved methods of tracking mask situations and gun traffickers. Treasury Departments and the Federal Justice Branch. This has now gone beyond the private sector into requesting the private sector footholds that they just put in place, utilized by the federal government in setting standards. Anyone else extremely concerned yet? Got more for you. Check this out. In September, the International Organization for Standardization approved Merchant Category Codes, or MCCs, in order to help keep a close watch on those making large-scale purchases of firearms and ammunition. These four-digit codes are the same merchant codes that they've used across all other categories, but now they're diving into more, specifically, gun and ammo codes. We covered this at length because it's that big of a deal. They wasted no time. Check this out. Believing that lives are on the line, Gillibrand joined President and Chief Executive Officer of Amalgamated Bank, sound familiar? Priscilla Sims Brown and five, I can't say that properly so I don't want to mess it up, Director of Programs at Life Camp Incorporated in Foley Square on December 4th to call upon the Treasury and the DOJ to publish an advisory and establish a policy framework to help in the implementation of the new MCCs. This senator is calling for the federal government to get involved in writing new legislation and codes based off of the purchase pro codes that Amalgamated Bank got the International Standards Organization to facilitate. This is less than six months. Tell me this was not an orchestrated plan. Give a mouse a cookie, they get a gallon of milk. All right, let's keep going. Gillibrand is requesting a set of guidelines for financial institutions, law enforcement, and retailers to utilize in reporting suspicious firearm purchases that could lead to gun trafficking. Could lead to gun trafficking, but you're still going to have the DOJ and the Department of the Treasury build new guidelines utilizing MCC codes that Visa, Amex, MasterCard all have to use because they're coming from the Inter International Standards Organization at the behest of Amalgamated Bank, the first progressive bank in the United States. Anyone else concerned? Let's keep going. I got one more thing for you. Gillibrand declared that the codes will not be used to judge firearm enthusiasts, hunters, and or collectors, but instead those who make random and unusually large purchases with credit cards. Random and unusually large purchases with credit cards. I wonder who's going to be the arbiter in determining what's randomly large. According to what the senator here is requesting, the DOJ and the uh, what was the other one? The Treasury Departments are going to be the ones who determine what's unusual. Anyone else concerned? Please send this one out to everyone you know because this right here, we cannot allow this to go forward because this is tyranny in action. And that's what I've got for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.